Hello everybody. Now good chipping is all about precision of strike. And the more you can achieve that precision of strike, the more you can develop your feel and your touch around the greens. And at least give yourself a decent chance of getting up and down. Now no matter what your standard of play is, I'm absolutely convinced that everybody should be able to have two types of chip in their armory. One is the high chip, which goes obviously higher, not so much run, and the other is the low one that hits the ground earlier and runs out for you. But one thing that many people do not realise is that you don't have to feel any great change in swing when you're playing these chips. The changes occur before you play the shot. They occur in your setup. So let's start first of all with the high one. Now I have a 54 degree wedge here and quite frankly a high chip is a bit of a misnomer because all I'm going to do in this one is deliver the true loft of the club back to the ball. I'm not trying to artificially create more loft and obviously in this one I'm not driving it low. So the key is all in your setup. When I want to deliver the true loft of any club back to the ball at impact I want the club in this shape in other words the shaft very vertical now you only need to know one thing here in your setup that you want your hands for a right hander to hang opposite the inside of your left thigh so if you have the shaft pretty vertical and your hands opposite the inside of your left thigh, it automatically puts the ball just in the front half of your stance. Now don't be worried about duffing it because these clubs are designed to glide. So if you do start to contact the ground earlier, it shouldn't make too much difference to your shot. So once you get your setup like this, all you now need to think of is a lovely back and through rhythm and let the club gather the ball. Now that one has created so much height that even from being so close into the net, it has, I'm only six feet from the net, it's gone straight over the top. That's what 54 degrees of loft can do for you. So it's a high flying soft shot but all I thought about was a lovely rhythm. Now if we want to hit a low one, again the change is made at a dress. So remember we're trying to arrange our bodies around the club. What way do we want the club at impact this time? Well for a low one you want to have quite a forward lean on the shaft because that de-lofts the club. So we set the club in the shape we want it to be at impact and we move in, we want our hands opposite the inside of our left thigh and your job now is a nice rhythm and don't change the angle of the shaft through impact. So the, soft, the, sh the low one looks a bit like this. So Every club is really versatile, but when you're actually doing your swing, you don't feel different. You don't have to feel you punch it. You can play it softly and slowly. It will still run out for you. Make the changes in your setup. Understand the way you want the shaft to be at impact. That's the true loft. That's the low one. Remember your hands hang against the inside of your left thigh for right handers. Now you can concentrate on getting that feel increased and you will enjoy playing these short shots around the green so much more. <laughs>